Setting up subpaths in Pro Tools. Say if you're in surround, say I want to send to a bus. Well, I don't have any surround buses. Right? Again, busing is internal. Go to your I.O. settings. And you're in the bus column of the I.O. setups. Right? Here's all our subdivisions, in other words, subpaths. And I look at all the buses that I have, they're all stereo buses. Maybe I just want a, a quad send. Now, keep this in mind that if I'm working 5.1, quad could be an internal subpath of that bus. I could just go ahead and create one 5.1 bus and then auto create subpaths. It'll be at the bottom of the list. Come in and we'll call this surround bus A and then use the arrow to look at the internal subpaths. New subpath, but make sure when you're doing a new subpath that you're actually choosing the group the initial bus and not a subpath automatically. If you choose a subpath, this will be grayed out. New subpath, again, that'll be at the bottom. Quad. And then go ahead and assign it its format. It's going to be a quad format. And likewise, it's set up with left, right, left surround, right surround. And now it will become available to you when you go to your outputs, bus, you'll see you have a menu B all of a sudden, and you can get to your different buses here. Quad bus, which now gives me my quad send or output bus for groups. Either way, works in your send setup exactly the same way, whether the physical outputs or internal busing to, say, a return.